Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're gonna see Islam Makachev's recent fight against Charles Oliveira in UFC. A lot of people are talking about it, but for me it's very fundamental judo that he has used. Not to say that it's bad, but as I always say, the fundamentals will take you very far, even at the highest level, and today we're gonna see exactly that. So what he did was, the first one here, uh, the takedown that a lot of people are sharing, for me, this is Ashi Guruma. A lot of people are calling it Harai Goshi, but in fact, the hips are doing very little work. He's just wheeling him over the leg, blocking the far knee. So here, this is another example that he's done in the past, simply blocking the leg and wheeling him over his own. So Ashi Guruma, very little involvement with the hips. So here you see the hips are completely outside. Then you block the far knee, wheeling them over it. There's no support with the hips, there's no loading on the hips, and then sweeping upward, uh, like in Harai Goshi. So here you see, you block the far knee, you have a diagonal leg down, and then you wheel them over it with your hands. Great example is none other than Keiji Suzuki, he teaches it on fighting films. Here you see, he blocks the far leg, and then just wheels them down using his hands. The hips are on far and outside. Only the side of the hip making very little contact. Uh, this is Harai Goshi on the other hand. You see the upward lift, you see the full contact with the hips and a lot of people even load on the hips like Ogoshi and then sweep upward with the leg. Let's see here Islam doing it. See the contact with the hips and how he loaded him on it and then swept upward with his leg. And finally Charles Oliveira gets hit and then tries to play guard in a desperate fashion islam cracks through it very easily and goes into katagatame or shoulder hold shoulder hold can be done on one knee two knees and even you can flatten yourself out uh, maintaining the hold uh, with the gi you can actually uh, support if they are trying to roll towards you by grabbing the collar and keep putting uh, pressure on the shoulder it's called a shoulder hold katagatame for a reason so all you need to do is maintain the pressure on the shoulder that's pressing the head a lot of people obviously uh, get suffocated by it and simply tap out so this is a very quick judo clinic uh, a lot of people are talking about it this is nothing new that he has done in my first video that I've done years ago I've covered them so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this was Shadi and Thank you for listening.